Before you authorize and pair your McGraw Hill course to Canvas, you need to have it created for the new semester. So what you're going to do is log in to connect and go to your actual course and find the section that you wish to copy. So I'm going to Master Accounting 4A, Wild 7th Edition. I'm going to scroll down and you'll notice that I have a six weeks accounting for 2019. I'm going to click on the settings um, section options and I'm going to duplicate the section. And you'll notice here that it'll say copy of. I'm going to take that information out and I'm going to change the 19 to 20. Um, so how whatever naming convention you use, just make sure you set it up for the current period. Then I'm going to click on continue to new section. And it says your section has been duplicated. And here goes the student registration information. I checked that out. Instructor name is correct. Now the registration dates. That's I'm going to have to edit that because it's using the um, information from the previous year. I don't like my address to be long just in case the students may access this information. So I just do my first letter of my last name and then I'll go in and I normally put in the section number. So this is my current section number. I input that in so it's a shorter URL. I'm going to save that. Do you really want to edit? Yes, I do. Okay. Are you sure? And then I'm going to go okay. And then I'm going to continue to the new section. And now this is the course that has everything in it. I'm going to click on my course and I will scroll down to the master accounting for a and now we'll see that the six weeks accounting for a summer 20 online is here but it doesn't have a lock like i have on my other classes you'll notice that that lock is because um, these courses are compared to a canvas course and i want to go to the snowman right above and I'm going to set registration dates. So you have to change that from the main course heading and I'm going to click on specific sections and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look for the duplicated course which is the last one on the list and I want them to be able to start in 2020. Click 20, change dates. So hopefully you know what registration dates you'd like to use. And then I'm going to click on apply. So now my registration dates have been updated for the new section. Now I'm ready to do pairing. So if you want to know how to pair this with your Canvas course, um, you need to watch the next vid video. So remember, today is a great day to teach accounting.